Hi and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to rip your DVD collection using MakeMKV. First thing we have to do is go get the software if it's not installed already. So if you open your browser and go to www.makemkv.com slash download. As you can see you've got MakeMKV for Windows and MakeMKV for Mac. Today I'm going to be using the Windows version but I may do a Mac one in the future. So once we've got that installed it's just a standard Windows installer. Download is normal. Double click and run through the prompts you'll get an icon called Make MKV. So if we double click that, it will open up. Now I've already got a DVD in my drive. As you can see, it's Stir of Echoes. If you've not got a DVD in your drive, if you place it in just now, the software will auto-detect it, and then you'll get the option. As you can see, this is highlighted just now for me to click Continue. So I'm going to click Continue just now. What this is going to do is it's going to analyze the DVD and it's going to pick the movie track that we require. Okay, so now that it's actually picked the movie track, it shows that it's Stir of Echoes DVD and it wants to save it to C colon slash video slash Stir of Echoes. You can change that to anything you want by clicking on this little folder here and moving the, you know, the folder to your desktop or wherever you happen to want to save these just now. What we'll see at this point, if you click this little arrow here, it gives you a breakdown of the sound and the subtitles that are available on this disc. If you don't want the subtitles burned into the disc, untick the subtitles, otherwise they appear regardless, hard-coded into the actual video. So once we've selected that we're definitely sure that this is the 15 chapters, which is the main movie, and it is because these programs generally just select the one with the most chapters, uh, and we've got the output folder where we actually want it, we simply click Make MKV. Now, I'm not going to make you wait on this process, I'll either speed it up or I'll put a jump cut in, maybe a bit of both, but this takes around 10 minutes. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, as we can see that says copy complete and one title has been saved. So if we click OK, we bring up our Windows Explorer and we go to C Drive, Videos. We have a folder now called Stir of Echoes inside title00.mkv. Now obviously that doesn't mean anything anyway, so we should click on it and rename. We can click on it and hit F2 and call it Stir of Echoes. Okay, now I'm going to open it up and give it a quick look just to make sure it looks fine, but I'm going to have to talk over it and uh, skip through a bit. So, I open it up. Yeah, that looks fine. It's fine. 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 The quality in that looks good. The sound looks good. The one disadvantage of using Make MKV is that it does create very large file sizes. This is 3.9 gig. So that's how you would use Make MKV to rip your DVD collection, where you can then store it on USB drives, hard drives, NAS drives, whatever you require. Thank you for watching.